Hello chess lovers, Soren here with another very brutal attacking game. With the white pieces playing Jesus Sepulveda and his opponent is Ignacio Prieto. The game was played in 1986 in Cadiz, which is a city in Spain. Sepulveda started with e4 and e5 by Prieto and as you know brutal attacking games are usually arising in King's Gambit, white went for f4. He takes f4, King's Gambit accepted, knight f3, g5, knight c3, g4, knight e5 and black is using the fact that white's king side is weakened, queen h4 check, g3 and after f takes g3 we see queen takes g4, allowing g2 check after which white is capturing on h4 but now another queen is being born on h1 square and right now as you can see black is a rook up but actually it turns out that this continuation favors only white, here comes queen h5 coming after the pawn on f7 and now black is in serious trouble, bishop d6 a terrible move, it was better to play knight h6 protect the f7 square though white can play d4 open up the bishop's diagonal if d6 then bishop takes h6, if d takes e5 then queen takes e5 and then queen takes h8, again white has an advantage. Though of course I have to repeat that this continuation would have been better for black, instead after queen h5 we see bishop d6 and white simply captures on f7, king d8, d4 both protecting the knight also opening up the bishop's diagonal, knight e7, bishop g5, knight c6 and knight d5, already white is creating dangerous threats, but at the same time by playing knight d5 the knight is no longer protecting the pawn and black captured on e4, bishop e2, queen h1 check, king d2, white is also sacrificing the second rook, queen takes a1, as you can see black queen behaves very greedily and this can cost black a whole life. We have already reached the critical position and now you can pause the video and try to find white's next moves. Actually there is a mate in 3. Ready? In this position Sepulveda played queen e8 check, look at this amazing queen sacrifice, but actually this simple knight takes c6 is also winning and then queen takes e7 checkmate, but of course this continuation involving the queen sacrifice on e8 is just spectacular. Now if rook takes e8 then simply knight f7 and we see a brutal smothered mate on the board, but after queen e8 check king takes e8 was played. Knight f6 check, now if king d8 simply knight f7 checkmate, but black played king f8 but here comes the bishop, bishop h6 and this is a checkmate. A very impressive game I think involving double rook sacrifice and then that final queen sacrifice just blew apart black's position, oh jesus. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions don't hesitate to leave your comments. Good luck.